So, ladies, are you ready? Give me a snap. Give me a clap. Ah, so this is for the ladies in the house. See me after this. Anyway, let's go. So to the young beautiful lady outside there that will one day be my wife. The mother to my 19 and born children. Hello. Yeah, you had me right, 19. The new pure generation I want her to give birth to. The one that will have the other portion of my heart. The one that I'll even call babe before we even have one. Hi. Allow me to introduce myself from a far distance before we even meet. I go by the name Chol Matiok Chol, but most people call me K2. I'm a poet. So I fell in love with words before I even fall for you, and I'm sorry for that. Please forgive me. I'm from a motherland that gives birth to tall, dark, handsome giants. That's South Sudan. I was raised and brought up by an African mother who told me that, my son, when choosing a wife, don't let the natural allowances that they have deceive you. You see, she may have mountains on her back, but when you guys quarrel in a relationship, the echo of the sound will make the mountains crumble and end the marriage. So choose from the heart and the manners that she has. I don't know what type of men you like, but three things define me. I'm tall, dark, and hand. Okay, the other one I leave it up to you to decide when we meet physically. But please don't disappoint me. Don't break my heart. I'm not bragging by saying all of this, but honestly speaking, I think I'm a full package. I'm a type of a man that would give you slow morning kisses on a Monday, tied warm hearts on a Tuesday, flatter with you the entire Wednesday, teach you about how to handle hardship in life on a Thursday, take you to my parents for blessings on a Friday, make babies on a Saturday, then go on our knees and tell the Almighty Father thank you for the life that you've given us on a Sunday. So how lucky are you? We may have not met you, but something tells me that you've got a personality that will teach my son how to treat ladies like a gentleman. We may have not met you, but something tells me that you've got manners that will make my daughter proud to call you a mother in the wrong world. So tell your neighbor, wherever he is, who's now stalking on you, that he's wasting his time. Because destiny has already told me that you and I are meant for each other. And in case we don't meet here on earth, I'm 100% sure we'll meet in the afterlife. So my future wife, wherever you are, my question is, will you marry me? Thank you. Point K2.